I'm Lindsay Hutchinson, and I have two boys, twin boys, they're in grade six. Yeah, that was an interesting time for our family, actually, because my husband had moved to Port Hardy already in January 2020, and the boys and I were staying uh, in Victoria, where we lived prior to finish their school year. When we got the news that school was, uh, there was no more school during spring break, suddenly we had no more reason to live apart anymore. So um, it was really funny because we decided we should head to Port Hardy where dad was. And it felt like, a, you know, a trip, we'll go for a week, maybe two. Are we coming back? Are we not? Have we moved? Um, so I'll always kind of remember, I think, the start of the pandemic in May or in March. Um, as that time that we uprooted our family and moved to a new community. At first it was really great. I actually remember that March having incredible weather and we spent a lot of time exploring nature in our new community, which as you know, there's almost nothing but nature to explore. So that was really fantastic. The school piece, I remember our, my kids teacher, grade three at the time, I remember it taking a long time to actually get any communication about what was happening. So we just sort of did our own thing for what felt, I remember feeling like quite a long time. We had attempted homeschool at the kitchen table, which was a real disaster for us. Um, I think in hindsight, everybody's anxiety was probably first and foremost, you know, the only thing that we could deal with and trying to maybe ignore that and focus on school was just, in our house at least, not working. So my kids were really, would get really upset and I would, you know, think I had this responsibility to sort of push them and that didn't last long. We gave up, we gave up pretty quick. I thought there wasn't much point for us, so we stopped and we just did our own thing. I remember the day that a kid in the neighborhood knocked on our front door and asked the kids to play. I don't remember when it was, I'm sure it was months and months in to the pandemic and that day was like, game changer. It was huge. Oh, it just was like back to normal, I think. Being little boys, like they went outside, they stayed outside and there was like a patch of um, trees nearby. They were kind of in the woods and they were building a fort or something like that. It was incredible. Like it was, um, of all the things I think that could have changed our moods, mine included. Um, yeah, it was, it was key, for sure, for sure. I think it's like they haven't skipped a beat now. I think now that they have made some buds, and now we often remind them, because especially through the pandemic, actually, they kept in touch a lot with their buds that we left behind in Victoria online. Um, and we've encouraged that, and so now they sort of feel like they have two really good groups of friends, um, back from, you know, those ones that started in kindergarten to grade three that they've kept on and then the new ones they've made here. I think they feel like they have two equally strong um, groups of pals. I think ultimately my kids, uh, and maybe because they're among the lucky ones, I don't think I see a deficit academically in them, but who's to say? And who, who knows what, what we might find down the road, yeah.